In this video, I'll show you the easiest way to add a PDF document to your Captivate project. Okay, so I have a very simple project that I've just started here and I want to start off by sharing a PDF document with my learners. The easiest way to do this in Captivate 2019 is to simply select your PDF in question and drag it over to your stage. When you let it go, it'll create a web object automatically that includes your PDF in question. Now you won't see it here. You'll need to either publish or preview in order to see it actually on the slide here. What I recommend that you do is resize it so that it's appropriately sized for your learners here. And of course we can make sure that it's centered on the slide here. Let's go ahead and do a preview in HTML5 in browser. And you can see there that there is our PDF document right inside of our e-learning project. Now, a couple things to note. You'll notice that in the address field for your PDF, it's pointing to the exact location. The good news is, is that Adobe has made this a lot easier than in previous versions with Adobe Captivate. When you publish this, it's going to package a copy of your PDF document along with the rest of your e-learning project. You'll actually be able to find the PDF located in your library and you can see it under web right there. So if in fact that you do delete the original PDF document, no worries, it's in your library and of course you'll be able to continue to preview it and publish it and of course it will include the PDF as you can see here. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.